Hello everyone, let us see this question. Okay, they are asking what will be the output of this pseudo code. They assigned a value as 0 initially. They set a as 0, b as 5. So a is 0, b value 5. Yeah. Now first condition b greater than 0. Yes, we can enter into the while loop. And initially b is even number. b mod 2 w equal to 0. b is even number. Definitely, okay, when b is divided by 2, remainder is 0. Modulo operator. And we can increase a by 2. But here b is odd number, as it is odd number, a will be increased by 1 only. Then b should be decreased by 1. So b is equal to 4, even number now. Okay, when it is even number, now what you should do? Okay, we have to increase here b value 4. Now we will again come here, b value 4. Now b is even number, so a should be increased by 2. a is already 1, now it is increased by 2, 3. b is equal to 3 now, because b is decreased by 1, b is equal to 3 b is odd number then again next b is 3 odd number odd number so a should be increased by 1 only a will become 4 b equal to 2 even number when b is even number a is increased by 2 as b is even number yeah we can enter a is increased by 2 now b become 1 b equal to b minus 1 now so then still b greater than 0 yes then again a okay 1 is odd number so a should be increased by 1 only a equal to 7 b equal to 0 now b greater than 0 failed so we, the entire while loop is completed now if you check what you have to print is a value final a value is nothing but equal to 7 so option b is the answer right this is the first question with loop yeah let's see about the next question here Right, so you have to, yeah, x is initialized as 0 first, fine, good. Then for j equal to 1 to i, so if i equal to 1, j equal to 1 to i means j can be 1 only. If i is equal to 2, then j equal to 1 to i means 1 to 2, j equal to 1, then j equal to 2, both cases are there, i2, j2 also available. But when i is 1, j can be 1 only. Then next, when i equal to 3, j can be 1, j can be 2, j can be 3 because i equal to j equal to 1, 2, 3 is available. Right? So, fine. Now, what is the condition inside this here loop? x should be increased by 1 when i plus j is greater than 3. Now, here in this case, i1, j1, i plus j greater than 3 failed. Okay, it cannot increase this loop greater than 3 equal to 3 no this also waste but yeah this is also waste this is also waste now the other case successful is yes i2 j2 when i is 2 j is 2 i plus j is equal to 4 4 greater than 3 x is increased by 1 okay 1 added next here also j, i3 j1 yes add one more i3 j2 add one more i3 j3 add one more right so x will be equal to 4 they are asking finally to print x value which is nothing but equal to 4 right now let us see about the next question a is true b is false c is true then we have to see this condition you have to print s or no yeah fine and and is only happen when both are true right so here a means true and not b okay not b means true or c is true right so this will be definitely true only we have to enter into this loop answer will be yes right and and or Okay, as per priority, if you see, and is highest priority. So, if you try t and true and true, it will give true only, right? Then, we are left with, okay, this resultant, resultant of this true and true is true. Then, true or true is nothing but true only. So, is when it is true, we have to enter. If we inside, true means we can enter. So, we can print yes, right? Whereas next one, 
sum is initialized as zero it's pretty much similar to some previous question where okay uh, i1 j equal to 1 to i right so i1 j1 when i is 2 j is 1 comma 2 when i is 3 j can be 1 j can be 2 j can be 3 when i is 4 j can be 1 j can be 2 j can be 3 j can be 4 right now what is this summation is initially 0 sum is nothing but equal to 0 first when I enter here what will be sum affected is sum plus 0 plus 1 into 1 it will become 0 plus 1 nothing but 1 1 into 1 i into j next next yeah, already 1 is there 1 plus now 2 into 1 right this will be a i into j 2 into 1 then 2 into 2 will be added to that so this will be 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 will be the result now next in this row already sum is 7 7 plus 3 into 1 then next loop 3 into 2 next time 3 into 3 okay so all together 3 into 6 8 this is 18 18 plus 7 25 is what okay after this third loop okay now when you go for i value 4 rd 25 available next 4 into 1 4 into 2 4 into 3 4 into 4 likewise it will come right so 40 plus 25 65 will be the result so finally 65 will be saved okay so b is the answer 65 next if you see this question for loop yeah count is 0 for x equal to 1 to 6 if x mod to 0 means x should be divided by 2 and x mod 3 x is divided by 3 x is divided by 2 x is divided by 3 then only you can enter into this loop count will be increased by 1 right so count is 0 only x value 1 2 3 4 5 6 fail x value 6 only will satisfy this condition x value 6 6 is divided by 2 6 is divided by 2 then only you can enter so count will become 0 plus 1 1 so finally count will be 1 only finally count will be 1 right so hope you understand this set of questions related to pseudocodes.